Hey there guys and welcome back to Ben 10 Omniverse 2. Let's go and beat up some more bad guys. Alright, up we go over this, get some orbs. Oh shit, it's the ninjas. That's not a good thing, let's go heat blast. Who we got in the previous episode, and I'm not really sure why I'm going with heat blast. But let, we haven't tried him yet against the ninjas, and who knows, he might be good at it. Especially if they don't really seem to move much and just prefer to sit on the wall over there. Come on, die. Thank you. And... Get a new alien. Forearms. Excellent. Alright, let's give him a go, shall we? Well, he's, uh... He's a lot smaller than I expected. Profile said he was 10 feet tall. Well, he's, uh... He doesn't seem to be nearly that big. Okay, so he's got this punch move that seems to be pretty... Whoa! He definitely seems to have some degree of armor to his attacks. Oh, that twirl in the air, that doesn't really look right. That's not something I see forearms doing. But yeah, he's definitely got wickedly powerful combos. Oh, and that punch just blows him away. That is probably going to be really good for knocking people off edges. Way to go, Bullfrag. You just lost your one last use. Though I guess I can still use Bullfrag to sneak past security systems undetected. Or at least to shut them down. Whoa, wait, I punched him and then he's on the shield all of a sudden. That was weird. Alright, down we go. Boom. Through the landmine. I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging forearms. It's pretty good. But I'm still kind of wondering exactly why I'm getting the aliens in some levels and not in the others. Because we missed uh, Diamond Head and Cannonbolt in the levels that had their respective pictures on the title screen. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. And why I did get Forearms and Shock Squatch recently. Oh well, maybe it'll... Oh, maybe the, you can you unlock those by completing challenges or something? That would be pretty weird though, I mean, why wouldn't they be unlockable in the main game? Oh hey there, guys with weird glow stick things. Boom, forearms to the face. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was uh, a minor inconvenience, but we did get mystery research, so that's probably good. I don't know what that is going to do though. Oh yeah, of course, I completely forgot about that. We still need to, um... Okay, so that's forearm to super move. It goes like, uh, this weird punching combo. It seems to be rather quick, though, so... It's probably pretty good for killing the big guys with. It seemed to work fine, at least. Damn it. Alright, shocks watch puke lightning at him from above. Seemed like a pretty decent tactic in the last episode. Oh, jeez. Ninja, damn it. Okay, so we better take that thing out from a distance. And who better to do that than Edel? Spread shot every day. Excellent. Alright, moving on. Nope. Oh, snipers and so many ninjas recently. Hate those guys. Damn it. Okay, apparently Forearms doesn't have armor to his tanks because the ninja just dove right through it. That kind of sucks. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh well, luckily you don't get reset to the beginning of the level when you die, that would really suck. Okay ninjas, let's go. Oh, coming from above. Damn it, Heat Blast is not the alien for this job. Oh nice, one of them's down. Wrath. Here we go, grab him out of midair, like a boss. Wrath, don't care. Come on, grab him again, not let him escape. And, come on, there we go. Oh! Oh, he's dead. Okay, I thought the platform saved him there. Nice! Ooh, nice. Transform into a small guy and he just completely dodged the shot. Come on. Aim better. Jeez, his aim sucks. Where did you learn to snipe? The Stormtrooper Academy? Oh, well. Boop. Oh, doesn't quite reach. Need to get closer. Come on, eye guy. There we go. Now we're getting it. And luckily the recoil permits blasts me right back where I came from. How handy. 
Maybe I should just jump over the- oh shit ninjas! Fuck! And of course we have to redo everything now. God damn it! I am really starting to hate those guys. Nope, not gonna get me this time. Come on, air combo! It's not quite gonna kill him, but whatever. Oh, nice! Swipe him out of the air, and fall down the cliff. Recover from that. Oh, nice! Okay, so pretty much just hit them when they're attached to a wall. Oh, nice. I'm running really good at throwing people over the edge. Okay, I guy again. Fuck. Should probably change my tactics there, because it seemed to work at first, but it doesn't seem quite as reliable now. Ah, excellent. Double kill. Come on, over the edge. Nice. Okay. Whoa. What caused him to fall over? That was weird, I didn't see anything hit him. Oh well. Come on. Should be almost dead. One more beam. Quickly. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Just some more ninjas now. Can we just shoot him down, maybe? Nice. That's one down. Only one to go. Come on. Damn it. Oh, I wanna throw him the other way. Come on, I guy, you're not quite doing it right. And whatever, this will also kill him, probably. Just not give him a chance to escape, and then he'll be dead in no time. Ah, damn it. Okay, that sniper definitely did not go to the storm. Whoa. Did that ninja just fall off the wall completely at random? Oh, nice, another one down. I am getting the hang of this. Quite a risky level layout, and now we're finally done after dying there like six times. I didn't keep count. Maybe someone who's watching this did and will post the death count there in the comments. Maybe. But whatever, we're moving on. And... Oh, I thought this was a bottomless pit, but luckily it's not. But we do have ninjas. And those lasers, they could not be in a worse location, so maybe I'll have to resort to bullfrag for this one just to keep the lasers offline. Alright, ninjas, let's go. Wait, these ones apparently pull off new tricks. They disappear as soon as they touch the wall. So you pretty much have to beat them out of the air. Oh well, damn it. Works for me, kind of. Big Chill could also work. He can pretty much swipe them right out of the air with that. But then we do have the problem with the laser beams. Decisions, decisions. Because even if I stand up there, the laser beams will still get me. Damn it. Okay, you cannot counter the laser beams. Good to know. Well, then we'll just give I guy a go, see how he fares. We have like 14 aliens now, so plenty to go around. Don't really need to worry about losing any aliens in battle anymore. Unlike uh, at the beginning of the game, when you have like 4 or 5, you might want to be a little more careful. But now I've got aliens to spare. Can lose them all day. And we just lost Eye Guy. Okay. Bullfrag again, because th those lasers are too annoying. Okay, Ninja. Let's kick your ass. Real good this time. Is he dead? Still not dead. How many hits? There we go. Alright, that's a wrap. Thank goodness. And... There's the exit. I hope I don't get ambushed again before we get out of here. You should not have said that. Oh, it's that guy again. Are we gonna fight him now? I beat you once, so I can do it again. I already got what I came for. Uh, okay. Oh, the ninjas took that from me. I was kind of wondering how he would have taken it from me, because we haven't even seen him yet. He's been nowhere near Ben. Hey, get back, get back here. Cover my feet. Oh, crap. Big enemy wave incoming, and of course it's ninjas. Shock Squad, cheer up. See if they can maybe jump into the electric beam, that'd be pretty cool. Damn it. Oh well. Oh, the electric field should dispose of them just fine. Draw them in, deal lots of damage. And we got a beam ready. Oh. Guess we won't be needing that beam then. Alright, level complete. What did we get? As far as upgrades go, mystery research. 
attack an enemy while blinded, perform a 25 plus hit comp. This reach unlocks four more alien forms on the Omnitrix. Okay then. Could that be how you get Diamond Head and Cannonbolt? And then two others? I'm going to assume that's the case. So a 25 hit combo, well that's easy enough. We've been getting 50 hit combos, no problem. So, ooh, feedback. Okay, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.